Well, hello there, Assurance Heroes, and welcome to the A Plan Podcast. A is for Assurance, and this is your weekly audit and risk talk show. We're the A team. He's Emre, the tech guy. He's in the, the communication guy. All right, guys, what have we got for you this week? So, this week's topic is how do you know when your auditees really trust you? Did I not clearly explain the circle of trust to you, Greg? Mm. Yeah, I think I got it. Then is there something you want to tell me? I... I don't think so. See, if I can't trust you, Greg, then I have no choice but to put you right back outside the circle. And once you're out, you're out. There's no coming back. Well, I would definitely like to stay inside the circle. Well, then tell me the truth. Trust. The trust question. Oh, my gosh. The trust question. We're on this one again. <laughs> to me, it's the key. It's the it golden is, it key. Is. It is. It is. And we have talked in our previous episodes around this issue but it's so yes. important that it's worth to uh, have another discussion on this one yeah i mean i think it's like trust is really the delineation the line of trust is the delineation of a successful relationship to me right if you consider all of the different people that you know that you're related to that you have some kind of relationship with you can see it as like a kind of upside down triangle right so most of the people that you have a relationship with, it's purely a transactional relationship. You want something, they want something, therefore we're connected. Right, your local cafe owner, your local shopkeeper, you wanna to buy tomatoes, they wanna to sell tomatoes, we've got a relationship, right? With time, it becomes deeper, we get to know some personal details about each other, but there's a line, and that is the line of trust. And once we cross that line of trust, then it becomes a transformational relationship. So this oh, yeah. is where, yeah, this is, this is where knowing that person changes your life permanently and them knowing you changes their lives permanently. And that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming to cross that line of trust. And it's not something you can do quickly. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not easy. That's not easy. That's for sure. It's not easy. Yeah. All right, listen, I need to talk to you about your kid. Why? Uh, let's see, because your kid has serious emotional problems. Why? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're not there for him as a father? Why? Are you kidding me? Why? This is a little again? Why? This is what you're doing? Why? This is what you're doing to me? Why? Why? To me, and the, the if you ever achieve an open and fluent two-way communication, Yes. Where the questions are not coming only from the auditors? Yes. But sometimes the audit client, they ask as well the questions. 100%, yeah. To me, 100%. it's a good good sign of having that trust there. Yeah, this is a great this is a great indicator. This is a great early indicator. They know that you're there to talk to them, to interview them, to get information out of them. But what does it mean that they're asking you a question? It means that they see you as, an, as, as a relevant or an interesting or a useful source of information, if nothing else. Oh, yeah. So therefore, there's an interest. And the asking you that question is to get that information from you. So straight away, sure. they see a value in you. Otherwise, they don't ask you questions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's 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 key. That's really the key. Andy. I witnessed in the past so many audit clients whose risk appetite has drastically changed over the years just because we achieved together to breach that line yeah so that they feel more comfortable yeah. to play the the game together i'm the risk acumen they are the business acumen but together we are addressing their pain points yeah the audit isn't just for christmas it's for life right we used to have this expression in the uk when i was a kid <laughs> about people, <laughs> idiots used to buy their kids puppies for christmas right and they had this advertising campaign, a puppy is, is for life, not just for Christmas. But sometimes it's like with the audit team, like the, the, the audit is for Christmas. It comes around once a year or every two years. They come along, they're there for three weeks, ask you a bunch of questions, and then that's it. They're gone. <laughs> you don't see them again. They leave you with the management actions. It's up to you. And two years later, did you close them or didn't you? But I know, for example, with you, that that's just not the approach at all. I'm always trying my best to, to be there with them whenever they need me, to be yeah. with them to around the risk discussions on their business as usual activities. 
Yeah, yeah. And the implementation of those recommendations, that's when the real work's beginning. So to be with True. them, check it in with them, supporting them. You know, True. how's True. it going? Do you need any help? Or sharing some sort of information that, that might ha help them, trying to add some value to them on that journey as their risk acumen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all there. This is how we build trust. It takes time. It takes a it takes long, time. long time, right? It takes time. But it's the sure way to, to break the silos and to build that trust that we're looking for. Yeah, yeah. And as, as an internal auditor, right, you're an employee in the same organization, right? So it's not a five minute thing. You're not just turning up for the engagement. You're going to work there potentially for years. So the success of the organization is in your interest too, right? The first rule of sales is if you're trying to sell something to somebody, if you've got a prospective customer, if they're not asking you questions, they're not buying. They're not interested because they're not seeing themselves as a person who's going to use that solution. As soon as people say, this isn't just some idea, this recommendation, this is something that I'm going to have to put into practice. Mm -hmm. Not because he says so, not because he's the auditor, not because the you know, audit and risk committee says so, but because I can see that this recommendation helps me to solve my pain points, then it's a realistic decision. And that's when the questions come because we don't want to make a mistake. We want to get it right. This is the end, beautiful friend. Once the internal auditor find its finding, the yeah. journey to find the root cause behind that finding has to be a joint effort. Absolutely. So, and, and it's about asking the right questions, right? Asking the right questions. And if you ask the right questions together with them, then yeah. he he is going to feel more easy to, to play the game with you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, so often, I mean, I hear it all the time where auditors say, well, they're not telling me. They're not telling me the information that I'm asking for. Why do you think that is? <laughs> Why do you think that is right? That's about the state of your relationship. So you need to do some work on that. As an auditor, you're focusing on processes, right? And, and processes are things, they're abstract, but they're things which are done by people. So at the end of the day, you need to spend some time on the relationship. You've got to, you've got to be asking the questions to, together to define those solutions. Because if you're not, they're not going to care about those recommendations, man. You're just foisting and forcing them upon them. And nobody likes to be forced, right? What time is it? If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. It's A-Team time. If you have an assurance problem, if no one else can help you, then we can, because we're your assurance agony ants. Send your questions to the A-Plan at zohomail.eu and we'll be more than happy to help you out. So that's all for this week, Assurance Heroes. This has been the A Plan Podcast. A is for Assurance. And if you liked it, then like it. Be well. And until next week, never forget, when your A Plan's good, you don't need no B Plan. <laughs> <laughs>